Hi guys, this is Marty from Run Street and I'm gonna do a vlog on traveling tips for runners. So I'm a running coach and avid traveler and over the years I've come up with some tricks to stay on track with your training and still enjoy your trip without being obsessive about your running. So my first tip is pretty basic but it's extremely important. It's to stay hydrated. When you're flying you lose a lot of water and you get dehydrated. So it's important to drink liquids on the plane. That doesn't mean alcohol, which makes you more dehydrated. That means water, juice, and other liquids. Um, I would recommend bringing a water bottle to the airport so you don't have to buy an expensive one after you go through security. Just bring an empty water bottle and then you can fill it up after you go through security. Keep drinking while you're waiting for your plane. Make sure you fill it up again before you get on the flight. And then when the flight attendant comes around, also order water. This will help keep you on track to stay hydrated and prevent muscle cramps and other things in your training. So my second tip is to plan ahead for your trip. So it's easy to be unrealistic and extremely positive when you're planning and think, oh, I'm gonna get up two hours early every day and run before my 10 hours of work, or I'm gonna get up early despite five hours of jet lag, go for a run, then walk all over London. But let's be realistic. You need to plan for things that come up and life. And you don't have to stick to your extremely strict training program while you're traveling, but you wanna keep up your general workout routine. So you can say, okay, realistically the day I'm traveling, I'm gonna be too tired to run, or I'm gonna need to run in the morning before I leave, because once I get there, I won't feel like running. Another thing that I like to do in planning is to find hotels that have a fitness center, check out the photos online, not just the hotel site, but also the reviews, which are more realistic photos, and you can get a feel for it. For me, I'm not picky as far as gyms go, but if the weather's bad, it's nice to know there's a treadmill there, and also that I can keep up some of my strength training while I'm traveling. And that brings me to my next point, which is be realistic. So be realistic when you're traveling, which means you might think that you're gonna do everything and even go above and beyond because you have more time on vacation or because you're on a work trip, you're gonna have lots of downtime. But realistically, traveling makes you tired. It takes a toll on your body itself and especially if you're traveling for a race. So you need to plan for some off days, some rest time. And what I do is schedule every other day, plan a way that I'll do a workout and just being realistic and saying, okay, I'm not going to miss seeing the Great Wall of China because I need to do an hour run that day. Let's, let's make our priorities, but still get in the workouts generally so you keep up your base level of fitness. It doesn't mean you're going to come back training extra hard and be a champion when you get back. We just want to keep up with our workouts and find a way to get them in. And my next tip is to find company to run with. So you can do a tour, something like Run Street Art Runs, or you can go on Airbnb Experiences. They have a lot of running tours or check out some of the awesome running tour guides around the world. I'll put a link to them in the YouTube description here. And a tour guide or a group makes you accountable. You're more likely to stick with your run. And it's also great if you don't know the neighborhoods and you know that it will be safe and it's led by an expert who can navigate the streets and the local scene and culture. So I'm um, Marnie, I'm a running coach based in Brooklyn. I also offer street art running tours in Brooklyn and around New York. So you can contact me if you have any questions about that. And also I would love to hear your feedback on your best tips for traveling while running and how do you stick with your workouts and balance having fun or getting your work done and still getting in some runs. If you like this video and you'd like more running tips and general health and travel tips, hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.